Hey guys, welcome back to Grim Reaper for another video today. We're gonna go over Hydra. We've got one key hard, free to play uh, team. So I'm really excited to do this video. It is also a takeover. So uh, thank you for Everlater for claiming on the takeover from Channel Points. Uh, and he earned that takeover for free. So yesterday he was able to get himself a very doable uh, two key for Brutal and a one key for hard, which is a big upgrade for his account. So he was just doing normal and he was only looking for the one key hard. So I generally do believe this team as well, what we're gonna be running today, could actually one key his brutal. Uh, this great hall is not maxed, uh, it could do a lot of work in live arena as well. So you will see when I show you the builds of the team, uh, there could be a lot of work there as well. So uh, some bits of bobs going on there. Uh, I generally think as well his main team can one key brutal with some good RNG uh, and possibly um, and possibly one key uh, normal once he gets his extra stats and stuff on a great haul. He just needs more survivability and stuff like that. Today we're going to showcase his one key hard. So let's get into it, enjoy the music, and we'll come back for the builds and everything else.
Okay, so let's go over the builds and stuff for the Hydra takeover then. So as you can see, we are using Pythion in the lead. So Pythion will be uh, around here somewhere. Uh, Pythion. So Pythion is in regen set. Uh, so we, we work for good uh, HP, good defense, and good speed. That's the only three stats that we're really worried about with that and war mass statistics. But honestly, you don't really need war mass, it doesn't do much. So maybe take Bulwark, <coughs> maybe take Bulwark as a better option, or Exile Life, or even Timely Intervention. Uh, any of them three, I think, will be better than Matt or Warmaster. I uh, expect to more damage off him for Warmaster, but hey ho, it is what it is. This is UDK, Death Knight, so Mastery, so UDK is in here mainly just to uh, bait mischief and to lock down uh, DK if he pops up. Uh, and I try to build all teams to be the same, so this has a 50% chance of placing Sprite. Uh, got a resistance banner. Uh, HP and then blood shield so we got one buff on him all the time speed HP defense uh, again uh, speed and and uh, accuracy and speed resistance here so looking for good resistance but we do have a resistance aura we are looking for good accuracy as well and we got good HP uh, we're just going to go through the gear Python as well, just so we can show you what we've been we used here as well. So HP, defense, but HP substats, HP ring with defense on, uh, speed boots, uh, HP chest, defense gloves, so you can go vice versa, speed, speed and HP, and uh, speed as well. <sighs> Oof, so now if you have a Blood shield ring, you could build resistance as well, as long as you can get a defense HP and uh, speed. If you can get the resistance as well, then go for it. It's extra uh, resist tank uh, in a day, and if you're wrong on that. So, we got them two. Now we're going to go to the free to play champions. So much more. So, we have the Husk. So, this account has to swap gear with Husk and Yugo because. It has multiple of them and um, we just didn't have enough of the gear to go around, the stats I'm looking for and stuff like that. Uh, so he has to do key brutal and, and stuff like that. So uh, we got good accuracy for DK, we got much critical rate as possible, critical damage, good speed and good HP. Masteries as well. Again, uh, we have that and uh, we're trying a new uh, blessing out so normally I'll take Phantom Touch but Empathy was saying that this will lower the defense so uh, I'm not too sure, I'm not convinced yet that this is the best mastery um, but uh, we will uh, kind of see how it will go at the moment between them two so yeah we've got them two we've got Yugo as well so Yugo is in a relentless set uh, his war guard is in a relentless set as well for the other ones and uh, that's about it so with Yugo we're just looking for good speed really and uh, good accuracy as well as survivability again war master is a tier 6 here um, the Great Hall is not max, so that makes it a little bit better as well. Um, and these are stats we've got. Good defense, good speed. Could do a bit more defense. Um, and good accuracy, which is the stats we generally care about. Whew. So, uh, and then we've got a two Geos. So the Geos did really well. I would like to get the ones to Relentless as well, but... If we put the two Geos together in Relentless, then maybe we can free up a new spot for Geo uh, for like another damage dealer. But right now we don't really have that available and uh, I don't want to be swapping the gear around too much. 
So we're looking for good speed, Solana HE burns, and honestly, I think I was really surprised with how too efficient 2G is were. We stayed alive for a long time as well. Uh, so that was really cool and stuff like that. So got good HP, good speed, good accuracy on them. That's all the champions really. And then I'll just show you the Great Hall quickly. The Great Hall is not max, so there is a lot of work here that the Great Hall can do as well from his takeover. And as well, I've asked him to start doing some Lyrena because he really needs to put some uh, utility into speed and accuracy because that's where his best of the buck will come from right now. So there we are, guys. There is my builds. Hopefully you like this. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the video. It just really helps support the channel. Please remember if you would like a Hydra takeover yourself to go ahead over to my Discord or down at the bottom of the link or any type of takeover. There's all the information in there to how to get your takeovers for free. So there we are. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.